What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get to the High Caliber Trophy in The Last of Us Part 2. So to get this trophy you need to find all of the weapons in the game, there's a total of 12 of them. Most of which are just gone through the main progression of the story, but none of these weapons are really difficult to get. They're not really hidden, so if you've beaten the game, there's a good chance you've gotten this trophy, since they're all pretty much in the way anyways. So this is the first weapon, it's just the normal pistol, Ellie picks it up at the very start of the game. I will pretty much at the start of the game. Second one is a hunting rifle, which Ellie gets, which is just a little bit after the last one. You pick that up through the main story. Uh, and then a little bit at the beginning of the game, you do play as Abby. So I don't know if I've said this, but six of the weapons are from Ellie. Six of them are from Abby, because you play as Abby a lot more later in the game. She starts out with a pistol, so that's one of the 12. And then the other one is uh, this pistol that you get through the main story. I won't exactly say how you get that pistol, but if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. And then a little bit into the game, when you're in the Seattle area with Dina, you and Dina open up this vault, and as Ellie, you uh, pick up this pistol. Or, it's a, it's a pump shotgun, it's not a pistol. Uh, it's in the downtown area of Seattle at the West Lake uh, Bank. Pump shotgun right there. And uh, I think there's also a artifact that alludes to uh, Uncharted in here as well. So a little easter egg there. And this next weapon is, I think, the bow and arrow. Yeah, this is about halfway through the game, I would say. You will go through that door. This is through the main progression of the story as well. You get attacked by uh, that infected. And I'm just going to open up some drawers here, because why not? But that infected has um, a bow and arrow on them. And prior to this area, this is like in a house. And this is the garage part of the house. Prior to this area, you do pick up some arrows so that... A little bit alludes to the uh, the bow and arrow that you get pretty much right after you pick up those arrows. So there's the bow and arrow that you get with Ellie, and uh, this next one, which we're coming to here in a second, is uh, when you start playing as Abby. This is the main story. You cannot miss this. She gets a uh, a uh, assault rifle, sort of gun. I'm pretty sure, and then a little bit later. You slide down here. I think this is the pump shotgun for Abby. Or no, it's a double barrel shotgun. It's in the uh, hostile territory mission. When you, there's like a bunch of strip shops and restaurants. You crawl under that piece of debris and then you push this big metal cabinet out of the way or whatever it is. And then on the other side of it is the pump shotgun. Or, sorry, double barrel shotgun. Uh, shotgun nonetheless. And this next one still is Abby. You are on this abandoned uh, boat. And this is part of the story progression. You will not miss this one. So you go up some stairs at one point. You open this door by holding down triangle. And then you see a dead guy with a crossbow. So you do get a crossbow as Abby. Which is nice. And that's uh, one of my favorite weapons. I feel like. And then after that, I believe, is the uh, hunting pistol. Yeah, so you're with Leave now, and Leave jumps across some uh, beams, but you go to the left and um, open up a door, and then in this door, here's a, an artifact. And then right next to the artifact is the uh, hunting pistol. Now, I actually got this, and I believe this is chapter 9, maybe? Um, some people said that they got in chapter 7. You can get some of these weapons back and forth. But anyways, a little bit further here, we will get the second to last weapon. It is the last weapon as Abby. So this is part of the story um, progression area. It's in the descent. And you go across that beam. You see a dead guy to the side. You pick up a flamethrower. It's right there. New weapon, flamethrower. And then we come to the last weapon, which is not missable. You will not miss this because as you see, we're, we get it in a cutscene. It is a silenced submachine gun. So uh, Ellie gets it. It's the last weapon. This is pretty much near the, the end of the game. But those are all the 12 weapons. Uh, just one thing to note is that some of these weapons are in different locations. Like, as I mentioned before, some people found the hunting uh, rifle in a safe in Chapter 7. Uh, that's a good chance that I may have missed that safe. I don't know. So it kind of like puts that weapon at a later point in the game, just in case you miss it. So the, the game devs did think of that. They want you to be able to get all the weapons. But anyways, that is how you get to the high caliber trophy.